well, thank you all for coming. I'm gonna come, I'm gonna go, no, okay. So, um, who we are, what we are, and what we do. So, let's start, right? Okay, um, I'm not Boyan, obviously, but <laughs> he, was, um, he was not able to come here today, but he sent me, so he's sending his regards. And uh, thank you again for inviting us here to talk about what we do and who we are and what we are actually planning and what have been we doing for the past two years. So, basically, uh, he's uh, the founder of uh, entire Python downgrade program. Uh, he's Python programmer, obviously, founder of Cortex uh, company, and uh, we are partners with Kiwi.com, and we do our meetups. So this is all about a meetup, a platform, and a conference to be in the future. So let's go numbers on the meetup. So what we have been doing for the past two years is we had uh, 18 successful events, so 18 successful meetups that are held every uh, last Friday each month, and uh, they're mm, basically uh, focus primarily on Python, but we do not judge. So other programming languages are welcome, but primarily focus is on Python. So how are they, uh, so what are we actually doing? We have uh, three talks, two talks, depending on how many lectures that we have. And they're usually between 20 and 30 minutes. After that, there is a Q&A session that usually lasts about 10 minutes. And then again, that times three equals one and a half hour and plus break, two hours, why we need a break? Because, well, people like beer and food, of course. Uh, keeping it in English, why? Because, well, the most of the speakers we're trying to get are uh, foreign-speaking people doing Python, and uh, we want to enforce English language on oral meetups because, well, people need to know it in case they want to program. Uh, Hands-on if possible. Uh, this is all about uh, making mistakes. So. No matter if you're bringing a senior Python developer, we want to show people that you really need to try and to get it on right now because, yes, you might make a mistake. And we want to show people that no matter how good you are, you still might make a mistake. So hands-on if possible, we want to see how people react. It's funny, it might be a little awkward, but yeah, you know, that's all. So uh, we do Slido. Slido is an app that uh, actually we use it for asking questions. So programmers are a bit shy. You all know that. Uh, and so we do not try to judge like any other programming languages. What we're trying to do is to enforce them Hey, to enforce them to uh, use Lido in case they want to ask questions. So instead of raising hands and saying, hey, I have a question, and actually uh, stopping a speaker in the middle of his presentation, we do Lido. So it's a platform that allows you to ask a question, and it will be displayed on the screen, and the uh, speaker can read it, uh, the entire audience can read it. So it's good hands-on platform. So follow-up network event. Uh, it's called Silicon Drinkabout. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's called Silicon Drinkabout, and it's not about drinking. I mean, it is, but primarily it's a networking event that we uh, have every after every meetup. So basically, it's uh, focused on um, onboarding people who already have successful startups or want to invest or new programmers they want to mingle with the speakers or ask them something that was not already discussed uh, during the entire presentation. And that's basically it. You can follow it on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We have Python Bongrade webpage as well. So check it out and see if you like it. Hope you see it there, I guess. And this is another good thing. It's called uh, pythonbankan.com. It's the platform of actually uh, combining all Python communities in the Balkan area under one unified platform that people actually can access, see, and discuss any other options about Python or Python-related subjects, or any other subject for that matter. Not any, but program-related. So uh, main entry point is uh, call for papers, and there is a Balkan community map for relevant information, so you can check it out as well. There is Google Forms, and there is Boyan's Tour the Balkan. So Boyan the Explorer. If you have watched Dora the Explorer, you know how it works. Basically, what we did is we traveled to each Python community in the Balkan area, and uh, we actually introduced our Bi Python Balkan platform, which is, well, sharing is caring. We need to stick together because, like they said at the beginning of the conference, we are not, there is not too much Python programmers around. You probably know that. So, yeah, keeping it sharing is caring. So, what we did to the Balkan, checked every community we can possibly think of. Now we are here. Thank you for the invite once again. And um, what we uh, noticed is the lack of 
enthusiasm and I mean people are really enthusiastic and there is really small group of people trying to do really big things so we're trying to promote it so go and promote hashtag it wherever you can possibly think of it and meet local communities and combine together so this is what this platform is all about combining all the com communities that do Python in the Balkan area under one same name and it's really accessible because I don't know employees can check it out people who actually try to employ someone can check it out so I don't know it's good right well, we'll see. Okay, GitHub sharing is caring. Like I said, it's a little about specs about the entire <laughs> Python Balkan um, website. So uh, Python, okay, you can read it. Community ideas are best practice. So what do you think about, okay, I'm not going to ask questions because I don't know. But uh, we want to make it an open source and we want uh, the entire community to contribute, uh, to actually be contributors. So community ideas are what we encountered so far, the best practice for something like this because we're trying to onboard senior programmers and people who actually do Python and are really good programmers for the past I don't know, 10, five years. So all the new people that want to learn or to check something out, they can learn from them. They can see something new, learn something new, or just to have fun, right? We're here just to have fun after all. That's important. Helping new um, uh, emerging communities. This is uh, other really interesting part. So, well, like I said, I'm not going to repeat myself there. Are really like they're not that connected and what are we trying to do is to connect it go places go community support ah, well we don't see it so uh python bank and journey all summed it up together so bangrade boyan zagreb is mislav split andre uh temishvar is radu Cluj is Yonel, and of course Istanbul is Yigit. So these are the Google groups they are actually using, so you can check each one of them. Uh, presentation will be available if someone wants it or to check it out or something like that. So you can contact them if you want to get in touch with any of these representatives or to ask questions or to go to meetups or to do anything related to the subject. Moving on to the communities. Okay, so putting all communities on Python world map. Uh, connecting all Python enthusiasts in this region of Europe. Yes, having a nice time, that's important. Having a nice time and helping others achieve their vision of PyCon Balkan. Actually, that's the primary idea. To combine them under the same name and actually discover that there are communities that might need our help or we need, might need their help. So. Um, this, uh, the entire trip, the Balkan was about uh, sponsors, talks, uh, general participants and networking. And uh, it all sums it up to together we can do so much bigger things. We can get better. Um, these are the conference. Okay, so I'm going to talk about a conference now. Uh, this is one of the kind, actually, the, this event was striking it the first Python conference related in this region. What we're trying to do is to broader the spectrum. So inviting all the other Balkan countries and their communities to PyCon Balkan conference that's going to be this November. Why lack of existing PyCon events in this region of Europe, of course. Uh, and it's going to be joint effort of all the communities and neighborhood countries that want to contribute. Uh, there is a some set of rules and guidelines uh, that we have to make Python or Python Balkan a standard top-notch experience for anyone who wants to use it next time. So the idea is to keep it, of course, in English, to force uh, English language and entire networking, and of course to do, uh, okay, yeah, we have Slack for internal organization, not important, but uh, what is this about? Um, we want uh, to uh, set an example for other communities to take over. So this year is going to be in Belgrade, next year is going to be in Zagreb, year after that, who knows? So the, the entire idea is to set uh, an example and have other communities take over the entire event. So let's do a little bit specs. So it's going to be on this November, actually. Dates are 16, 17, and 18. Book it. Uh, venue is Hilton Hotel Belgrade. And yeah, there is specs, a lot of square meters, and a lot of, oh yeah, there is networking event. Uh, there is going to be at the top of the hub. And uh, our organization, Python Belgrade, stands under it. So it's an NGO uh, basically founded to promote the IT communities and anything Python based in Belgrade and broadly. We're going to have some workshops also, and the main coordinator is Odd. So you can text him, mail him, or ask him about all the ideas or all the questions you might possibly have. Uh, going on to speakers, yes, we have some really cool speakers. So do you recognize any of these names? Can I ask a question? You don't? 
you know, okay, David Kramer and uh, Russell and Keith McGee, uh, there was like really cool, cool guys that do did a lot of good things. So in case you don't know them, you can Google them, of course, or I can tell you something about it, but it's much better to see for yourselves. So these guys are basically the founders of both Django and Python and all related things that are actually happening right now. So come to the conference, check their presentations, and I hope you will have another really good time. So again, not to forget the rest of the speakers, Eugenio and Anton, they're really good, like C of Tech 5. D and uh, in case you want to be a speaker or to apply for a workshop, you can do that by going at the link below. So it's call for proposals at pycombalcon.com or through our website or actually contacting any of the organizers. And uh, well, this is the venue, Hilton Hotel. And uh, well, thank you for listening. That's all that I actually have to say today. Oh boy, he's not here, and oh, he's not here. So I'm here, I'm Milos, and again, thank you. Oh, that's it. Hey.